Please subscribe to Tutorial Mart channel and tap the bell icon to get all the latest updates whenever I upload the video. So in this video, I am going to discuss the concepts regarding the exit control loop. The do while loop is an exit control loop. How it differs from the entry control for loop and while loop. Whole process, whole mechanism and whole syntax will be explained in this video itself. Program example will also be explained in this video itself. So be with me throughout this video and feel free to rewind the video wherever you feel the necessity. So come on let's begin it. Now let's start with the exit control loops. The loops in which the test condition is checked at the end or at the exit point of the loop. We have studied the entry control loops. In the entry control loops we saw that at the starting point of the loop only we check the test condition like in for within the parenthesis we check the test condition and then the body was written. In while also in the parenthesis the test condition was written and then the body started. But in the exit control loops we will check the test condition at the end of the loop or at the exit point of the loop. That means one time the loop body will execute irrespective of the condition. That means whether the condition is true or false one time the body of the loop will have to be executed because we will come from top to down in coming from top to down the body of the loop will come so we have to execute that and then the test condition will come so there is no point in checking the test condition before we have to check it at the last only that's why one time the body of the loop will execute irrespective of the condition the example is do while loop this is the difference between the entry controlled and the exit controlled. Test condition is checked at the entry point. In exit control, test condition is checked at the exit point of the loop. Second, if first time the condition is false, the loop body will not execute even once. If the condition fails, we don't even execute the loop body. But here, the loop body will always execute one time irrespective of the condition because there is no condition to avoid restricting the execution of the body first time. The condition will come at the end. So one time the body has to execute. There is no option. We will see the example of do while loop. First we will study the way of writing that is the syntax of do while loop. Then we will see the example. You will get clearer concepts about what are exit control loops exactly. Till the time please note this down. So this is the syntax of the do while loop. Here comes the initialization expression. Then we write a keyword do, the loop body starts here and it ends here. The update expression is just like the while loop before the closing brace and the test condition comes here after the while keyword. So initialization, do keyword, loop body, update expression, while keyword, test condition. You have to remember the syntax. So what will happen exactly? First initialization expression will initialize the loop variable then the body will execute that means after initialization only the body will execute and then the update expression will come we will update that loop variable and then the test condition will be checked so one time the loop body has already executed without checking the test condition that's why it is called exit controlled the loop body is checking at the exit point of the loop we will take one example of the do while loop so as to get more clear concept now see this program for do while loop the same program to print the first 10 natural numbers we studied for for loop and the while loop the same program we are studying for do while loop here so as to get the difference clear in the mind the header statements i hope you have no doubt in them void main the body starts from here and the void main body ends here in the void main i have declared an integer variable i so a integer memory for i will be allocated then i is equals to 1 this is the initialization expression i is initialized with 1 then do keyword in the do keyword without checking any condition we print the value of i so the loop body is executed without checking any condition then the update expression is executed i plus plus that will make the value of i to be 2 when the i is 2 the condition is checked 2 less than equal to 10 yes the condition is true so again the loop body will execute see out i that means 2 will be printed i plus plus will make the i value to be 3 3 less than equal to 10 yes again the condition is true the loop body will again execute so 3 will be printed then i will become 4 4 will be printed till the time 
10 is reached, the 10 will be printed. And when i++ makes the value of i to be 11, 11 less than equal to 10, the test condition will fail or will return false value. And we come out of the do while loop to the next statement that is the get ch and the program terminates. This is how do while loop is working. Irrespective of the test condition, the first time 1 was printed without checking the test condition. But in case of for and while, 1 was printed after checking the test condition. This is the main difference between entry controlled and exit controlled loops. We will study many programs related to entry controlled and exit controlled concepts. It was a very basic program to get the concepts clear. So I hope whatever that I have taught in this video is clear to you and you don't have any doubts. If you have so any doubt if you have then you can ping me on the email address that is mentioned in the description of the video. Uh, don't hesitate to ask your doubts and if you liked my video and my explanation please hit the like button please share the video with your friends and if you have not subscribed to my channel yet then hit the subscribe button also. Thank you.